Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This reading is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. So Libra, let's get into your energy and then we'll get into the energy of all 12 signs. I'm glad to be back. This move was grueling and I am just ready to do my readings and get back on track so guys uh, let me know what you think of the new format and let's get into this and get your energy for libra sun moon rising and venus signs please libra um somebody's communicating from out in the cold so uh i feel like i feel like wow i just saw one in my head okay so libra um somebody had to sleep on the couch somebody um Somebody's in the doghouse here. And that's what I feel like. I feel like somebody um, is in the doghouse and now they're trying to communicate from out in the cold. Um, whatever they did, they stepped on the wrong toe for sure. Queen of Swords will stab you in the toe if they, if they had to, you know. So let's get into the energy of all 12 signs around Libra, starting with Aries. If you're dealing with Aries, divine timing. Ooh, divine timing and temperance. Wow, you want to talk about spiritually led. Um, something that's meant to be will will balance. So balancing something faded. So wow, that's beautiful. Beautiful energy with the temperance card and the wheel of fortune. Okay, so if you're dealing with a Taurus, Taurus is manifesting. What are they manifesting? Queen of Pentacles is manifesting an apology or an offer. So Taurus is manifesting an offer or an apology. If you're dealing with, you're dealing with a Gemini. Gemini is brokenhearted over a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. If you're dealing with a Cancer, Cancer is blocking someone from moving forward or standing their ground and moving forward. They may be standing their ground and moving forward. If you're dealing with a Leo, Leo's working with the Queen of, of Swords. So they're working with you, Libra. They're working with you. Um, if you're dealing with... If you're dealing with a Virgo, if there were secrets, they're going to speak this... They're going to tell you the truth about what was hidden. They're finally going to tell you the truth about what was hidden. If you're dealing with another Libra, somebody regrets walking away. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, Scorpio has gone within, done some soul searching about a relationship. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, they're holding on to their wish fulfillment. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, they're happy with someone from the past. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, they're at a crossroads. Um, emperor, The emperor is at a crossroads about something. What's he at the crossroads about? Somebody trying to win at all costs, playing mind games. He's at a crossroads about somebody who's being narcissistic or being trying to be con too controlling. If you're dealing with a Pisces, Pisces is needing the strength to reconcile something. So let's get into your energy. Libra. Somebody who's out in the cold wants to communicate. Okay, let's get into this reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What does Libra need to know, please? What does Libra need to know? What does Libra need to know, please? Libra, you have the pre-empress. In a relationship, a foundation. Someone wants to work on this relationship. That walked away. Two eights. King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Trying to get from rough waters to calm waters because of some kind of betrayal. They betrayed you, Queen of, of Swords. And they have some regret. And they want a victory here. King of Wands. Taking that leap. Okay, so you 
you're taking this is okay somebody's been out in the cold wanting to communicate so it's not just that somebody's sleeping on the couch this is somebody who betrayed you There's been a lot of that lately what's going on here Okay, so pre-empress relationship. Somebody's wanting to work on something they walked away from. King of Pentacles. They want to work on. It. They want to work it out and get past the rough waters to the calm waters. They want to overcome something, some kind of betrayal against the Queen of Swords. Um, somebody who has some regrets and wants a victory. King of Wands. Wanting to take that leap of faith. So you may have two different people here trying to buy for your time. So it's been a long time coming and you're looking back at past mistakes with this Queen of Wands. And there's a burden uh, of a decision. Somebody's trying to manifest a decision, but it is a burden on this person. So they're trying to manifest a decision here. Um, I feel like you have the opportunity to be with a King of Pentacles or a King of Wands. There's a King of Wands who wants a victory and move forward. Um... Let's see what's going on here. Someone wants to communicate with you. So clearly you're the empress here. Um, this is an 1111. So this is a twin. Um, I don't see the twin on the board. I see I see the king of wands here, which would be an emperor in a lower vibration though. Um, but there's this king of wands or king of, of, um, king of pentacles from the past. This is the person that is out in the cold wanting to communicate. So they want to communicate with the pre-empress here. They're... This is about the relationship. Um, they may have juggled somebody at work and walked away from a family situation, King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles juggled you with somebody from work and, and now they uh, have walked away from a family situation. So it's been a long time coming for this King of Pentacles, right? To try to reconcile. He wants to go from rough waters to calm waters, but he's unhappy. He's discontent um, because of the betrayal he, of him offering his cup to somebody else. Um, Queen of Swords relationship. Um, you're the Empress here. Queen of Swords relationship. He offered his cup to somebody else. Big mistake, big mistake, right? And, and he's regretting what was hidden. He's regretting it. And he wants a victory in something long-term and committed. But there is a king of wands, which I feel is the emperor in a lower vibration. That's meant to be. And you're moving forward. You're passionate communication. You're moving on with somebody else. You're moving on with your person. So this queen of wands for a long time, you're looking back at past mistakes. You have a king of wands relationship with the queen of swords. And that's your justice. That's your justice. You're moving on. So... Gemini, or I mean Libra, I'm sorry. Libra, you are moving on with your King of Wands, which is your emperor, okay, in this case. And that's that's your your relationship with this this King of Wands is your justice over looking back at the past mistakes with this other person with the with the third party, right? And so there was a burden, you manifested a burden trying to make a decision, but you're very guarded and defensive. And you see, you see how toxic they are. You see how toxic they are. You're like, no. Um, working out in the cold. They can work out in the cold all they want, but this is over and you've moved on, right? So you've, you've moved on. You've moved on to your divine masculine is what you've done. So that karmic is coming back towards you. It's not happening. You know, you got justice because they thought that you didn't have somebody and you have, you have not only somebody, but the right somebody in your life, right? So they abandoned you and settled. And um, now they're trying to reinvent themselves and play victim. I feel like they're playing victim, right? They're playing victim in this role. That's what they're doing. They're, they're going to pour you uh, how, how bad they had it with the other person. They're playing the victim now. They're trying to cry on your shoulders of, I should have never left you. I should have never, you know, done what I did. Now, now they're playing victim because, you know, relationship moving towards sacred union you're moving towards a sacred union of marriage with your with your divine masculine um you have new love you have new love with a twin flame see you have new love with a twin flame and you're over this other person completely it's a not you're not even one bit bothered by this you have new love with the right one life purpose freedom family and truth okay so this is your life purpose 
your life purpose you're meant to do this um as 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 a family uh whatever this truth is, this is your family truth, um, freedom. I feel like you're, you're freeing yourself from a cage of the burdens that you have surrounded yourself with all that pain and, and looking back on the past on somebody cheating on you and hurting you, you have come full circle with that. You've healed. So I feel like with this family situation and the truth, um, the truth is, is that this is your family situation that your life purpose, this twin flame journey. Um, but I feel like the freedom for you is representing you looking back on the past when somebody broke your heart for somebody else. And, and now you're free from all of that. And this person coming back full circle, you got justice by not only turning them down, but showing them that you have walked, um, forward with something better so um guys that's all i have for you if this resonates please leave me a comment down below don't forget to like share and subscribe hope you have a wonderful week